Nolajet here, Frankie and Johnny's good stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we have a restaurant review vlog feast on some great New Orleans seafood gumbo, a roast beef po' boy, char grilled oysters, and fried shrimp at Frankie and Johnny's for a New Orleans Creole food restaurant review video. Frankie and Johnny's is located in the uptown area of New Orleans at 321 Arabella Street, which is about six miles and 15 minutes from the New Orleans French Quarter. Frankie and Johnny's opened up back in 1942 and has remained a popular spot in the neighborhood for great seafood ever since. In addition to staying popular with all the locals in the area, Frankie and Johnny's has grown in popularity among tourists who have come to love their New Orleans Creole food, which can make it a bit crowded sometimes. And here, if you find yourself craving some great New Orleans seafood, then Frankie and Johnny's can help satisfy your desires for some fantastic seafood. So you see, we've got some outdoor seating, and then there's some glorious indoor seating we're gonna see here shortly. So, and still the Christmas season here, so let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So you see, they've got a fantastic bar right when you walk in. We still have our Christmas tree up because hey, in New Orleans, Christmas keeps going after Christmas Day. We have the 12 days of Christmas and then we're into carnival season. So the fun keeps going in New Orleans and this is a great bar to hang out in and you can eat up here too. And it's a really beautiful old school bar. It's a lot of fun. And they have plenty of great beer on tap and in bottles along with plenty of other liquor drinks. Here's a picture of one of the founders of the restaurant, Johnny Moriel, along with lots of other fun pictures in here that you need to take a little time to check out. As this place is chock full of fun old New Orleans history, and there's always something interesting going on in here. So you just check in at the hostess station here if you want to grab a seat at the table, or you can take a seat at the bar. So mainly there are just two dining rooms. There's this first room you go through, and you head on back, and then they've got another little dining room area here in the rear. And with more tables here, you've got plenty of space to spread out depending on how many people are with your party and what kind of dining experience you're looking for. So lots of good space all around to enjoy yourself. They've got some good chalkboard specials with a frozen margarita, char-grilled oysters, and eggnog. And hey, oysters are always a good choice. I think I have to get some of those. Now let's check out the menu. We have appetizers with stuffed artichoke, garlic bread, fried pepper rings with ranch, onion rings, combo fried pepper and onion rings, seafood gumbo, chicken and dewy gumbo, various salads, and you can add grilled or fried chicken, shrimp, fried oysters. We have pasta with spaghetti and meatballs, chicken parmesan, eggplant parmesan, po' boys with oyster, shrimp grilled or fried, catfish grilled or fried, roast beef, meatball marinara, French fry with debris, birdie, roast beef and ham, otter smoked sausage, alligator sausage, ham, turkey, chicken breast, eggplant parmesan, half sandwich with cup of gumbo, half oyster sandwich with cup of gumbo, and you can add cheese, American provolone or cheddar, Fontana and Swiss. Then we have seafood with boiled shrimp, and then during crawfish season, they also have boiled crawfish, oysters on the half shell, char grilled oysters, then platters, all platters served with choice of fries, potato salad or veggie, and then you can add a side salad for an upcharge. And there's shrimp grilled or fried, catfish grilled or fried, oyster, seafood combo with shrimp, catfish, oysters and fries, half fried chicken, pork chops, chicken tenders, and red beans and rice are various ways. Then we have kid stuff with red beans and rice, chicken tenders and fries, buttered pasta, shrimp and fries, grilled cheese and fries, spaghetti and meatballs, and then sides, we have veggies, potato salad, french fries, sweet potato fries, and you can add cheese and roast beef debris. Then for desserts, we have white chocolate bread pudding, New York cheesecake, peanut butter pie, three layer fudge cake. So I had to start with a seafood gumbo because hey, I always need more seafood gumbo. And of course, I then need to add a little Tabasco sauce to it to kick it up a little because that's the way I love it. So this is a really beautiful looking seafood gumbo. It's got great color. It doesn't have too much rice. It's still got a decent amount of rice, but ooh, look at these nice shrimp. Mmm, okay. It has a fantastic aroma and I can't wait for the first bite. And oh yes, it does have an amazing flavor in here. 
So everything is really deliciously prepared. I'm really enjoying all the various seafood flavor deliciousness in here. And there's plenty of nice sized shrimp in here. Lots of fantastic, delicious flavors all melding together into a wonderful New Orleans style Creole gumbo here. Ooh. There's a little bit of okra in there contributing to all the layers of flavor, but now that I've totally destroyed this gumbo, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this gumbo. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because I do it for tips. I appreciate any help with that. Now it's time for my roast beef po' boy. Whoa, look at this monster. Ooh, let's see if I can take a bite out of it without making a mess. Oh. Okay, so structural integrity is holding together pretty well, actually, so that's always a good sign. There's not too much stuff falling out, and it's got good flavors. It's a nice, tender roast beef. This is more of the debris style. It's got good flavors. The uh, gravy and juices on here are really nice. Having a good experience with it. The bread is a perfect level of French bread, New Orleans style, crunchy on the outside, a little soft and pillowy on the inside. I got it dressed. I uh, didn't ask for cheese. They forgot my cheese though, unfortunately. So it's not completely glued together as it normally would be with a little cheese addition. But even without the cheese, it's still pretty darn good. So I got it dressed with lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and some Creole mustard that I always think kicks it up. Can't believe it, I'm already halfway done. All right, there's one half down. Mmm, let's go work on this second half. Oh yeah. It's a nice thing, but a bad thing when your roast beef po' boy goes so fast. Ooh, we had a little, uh, little bit of meat fall out there, so we'll see uh, what we end up with in the end, because typically the sign of a really good roast beef po' boy is how much roast beef is left in your plate and is falling out after, so you can have your third meal after you have the first half and the second half, then you got the third meal left over from everything that fell out of your other two slices of the po' boy. And mmm, yeah, this has definitely got some flavorful taste in there. It's all going together very nicely. It's the perfect thing. It was a colder day in New Orleans today, so nothing quite like a nice, good, hot roast beef po' boy to warm you up a little bit on a cold day outside. And ooh, this is exactly what I needed after that delicious seafood gumbo. That's like the perfect combo. The seafood gumbo with a roast beef po' boy is one of my most favorite combinations of things to have whenever it's a little cooler outside. Okay, I'm almost totally destroyed it. Oh, look at my hand covered in gravy. There's a little bit left over down here to finish off though for the third meal. And uh, I've got a nice little tasty snack. And oh, 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 here we go. Now that I've totally destroyed this roast beef po' boy, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this roast beef po' boy. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because I do work for tips. I appreciate any help with that. Here's my pile of napkins that I had to use to clean up after. So the total for this meal was $23.94 for tip. And then on my next visit, I had to get some char-grilled oysters. Look at these beauties. Ooh. It was a warmer day when I came back from my next visit, and uh, still, I need some char-grilled oysters. Unfortunately, the oyster shucker had not cut the adductor muscle from the shell in these grilled oysters, so uh, they were a little harder to get out. Uh, I don't think I've ever had raw or char-grilled oysters without that adductor muscle had not been cut out. Now, they were really short-staffed today. I mean, that's the case across many restaurants all across the world right now. So they were really short-handed today, so I guess their shucker might have been uh, new at the art of oyster shucking. So, you know, it just took a little extra time and effort to power through and rip off that adductor muscle to get the charred oysters out. But they still had great flavor, and there was plenty of juicy, butterly, garlicky deliciousness to soak up with a little French bread and get all that good juicy flavor out of there and have a little more enjoyment after getting the meat out. So this uh, definitely was a very nicely flavored version of char grilled oysters. Everywhere that has them these days kind of has their own different version, kind of a different flavor of them. So it's always a fun, exciting thing. They used to not be that common. Drago's in Metairie was kind of the first place that pioneered the char grilled oyster concept. And since then, man, they have exploded in popularity all over the place. So they're way more common than they used to be. 
Okay, now that I've totally destroyed a dozen charred oysters, go ahead and look. I'm going on a diet plan for my New Year's resolution with a house salad. No, 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 I'm joking. This is just a side salad. So here's my little side salad I got with my entree that you'll see here in a little bit. But hey, this is a pretty nice, good sized side salad. It's got some nice tomatoes on here, nice little cucumber right here. So uh, it's always good to have a good little uh, salad to warm up with, get a little roughage on you. Tomato is a really large piece of tomato. It even has a little stem place there. Probably I should have cut that off. I need a little bit. Oh well, I'm hungry. Gotta eat get my uh, vegetables and healthy, healthy roughagein because it's the new year, so you gotta have a little salad in you before you go to the next course. So so far we've been pretty healthy today. Though charcoal oysters are healthy for you. The salad's all nice and healthy for you. Got a little uh, grated cheese in there. I think it's some cheddar. So this is a nice little uh, healthy snack. And now I've totally destroyed this salad. So go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and tell me what you think about my new little diet plan here to eat a little side salad. And remember, I do work for tips, so please check out the link to my Patreon account down there. Now for my main entree, I got some fried shrimp with a side of green beans. Oh, look at these beautiful things. So Frankie and Johnny's may just have all around best fried seafood batter of any place I know of in the New Orleans area. They really kick it up and make it spicy with a lot of good flavors. And here we go, I'm dipping into a little remoulade sauce they gave me and mm, I'm looking forward to this taste combo. And oh yes, that is a wonderful blend of flavors and seasonings. Now these green beans, I think are probably right out of the can, but we'll give them a taste and hey, you know, for what they are, perfectly decent green beans. Nothing special, but uh, you know, decent little vegetable side to stay all healthy in the new year. Oh, all right, let's get another little fried shrimp down and wow, the way they batter and fry these shrimps just really picks up the flavor above and beyond most other fried shrimp in the area, I have to say. Uh, a lot of the other batters are generally a little on the bland side, honestly, but the one uh, they use here at Frankie and Johnny's definitely has plenty of great seasoning in it, and uh, certainly, I would say, is above average by quite a long way, probably at the top of all the huge number of other places that do fried seafood in the area. They perfectly fry it, and then the spicier batter really knocks it up to the top for me. So I'd have to say, uh, as of uh, now, they're probably the best fried seafood as far as the flavor goes to my taste. If you're not a big fan of uh, things a little spicier, your uh, taste buds could differ certainly. Hey, everybody's got their own preference and flavors, but I think Frankie and Johnny's to me certainly has the most overall flavorful, wonderful batter with their fried seafood. And, oh, I'm really sad. I've got one shrimp left. Oh my goodness, here we go. Ah, oh, I'm a little sad it's over, but just like I've destroyed this plate of fried seafood, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about these beautiful fried shrimp. While you're down there, remember to check out the link to my Patreon account because I do work for tips, so I appreciate any help with that. So the total for this bill was $60.28. A poor tip. So wow, that was a really expensive lunch to not even have been drinking any adult beverages. So thanks so much to everybody at Frankie and Johnny's for some great food and great times. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nola Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would kindly remember to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.